Hello everyone, it's Stevio here. We got a lot of stuff to do. We have to prepare for an auction today, and we got sad news. Let's get to it. So, the family farm, it's cross country it's hurting uh, my grandfather's health is failing he's asked me to come move to the farm come back I've decided I'm going to auction off all the equipment the land here in Wisconsin autumn oaks this beautiful autumn oaks sad sad news but it's the family farm it's been in our family for generations it is important it stays in our family so we're moving there's a lot of stuff to do today we have to prepare for the big auction first of all we got to get an area so we can park all these equipment so people can walk around look at the equipment we could get better deals better sale prices that way so we got to prepare for this big auction so we're gonna get this loader prepared right here we're gonna scrape off some of the dirt make little paths around in our grass field right here by the house and then we can start moving all the equipment over there it's good old loader tractor I know I just fixed it up but now we need it we're actually gonna sell this loader it's a good old 4010 we should get a good price on it it's all right my grandpa has a 4020 almost exactly like it so it's not that big of a loss to us so I want to use this to scrape off some of the dirt to kind of make a path around over here in our grass field so we'll leave this right here so the plan is to make little paths. The center will be, uh, we'll kind of scrape off a little area here. This is going to be parking. So people can come here, park their trucks, look around the area. They also are close enough where if they want to bid on the land or on the farm house itself, they can walk over there and view the buildings and all the infrastructure. So I think this is a good place for them to park. Uh, it's a nice grass field. I just like to get some of the uh, dirt roads created here. So we'll start that right now. We're scraping off this dirt right now. Making a fairly good time. We still have a lot of stuff to do. We're just kind of scraping off the top sod, getting it off. Might make a muddy mess, but at least it will uh, show the auctioneers of where they need to go and the equipment where they need to drive around all right right now we're scraping off one of the long paths I'm not sure how much area I'm going to need here but we're scraping this off trying to get it as a good area for them to walk around for the auctioneers to look at the equipment spec the equipment and course every all the buyers able to and then we'll make it everything a little bit wider so we'll go back here and widen everything and then uh, we have the daunting task of moving all the equipment all right so we got all this scraped off we actually made a kind of a semi-circle uh, now all we have to do is start moving the equipment so we gotta make many trips back and forth start moving all this gear it's amazing what you collect when you're on a farm for years and years so we are actually pulling this great big slurry spreader uh, beans it's empty of course this uh, 4010 can pull it with ease with not much problem so we're gonna put this probably about right here so I want everything to look balanced don't want anything 
just because uniformity looks like precision and it just gives that appearance I think you might get a better deal that way there we go now on to the next one so because we're moving so far across country we're probably not gonna carry any equipment I'm really considering taking the combine or at least uh, contracting the combine to be moved over there just because I don't think we'll get what we paid out of that. Uh, I'm also trying to put all this stuff like items. Like this is poo equipment over here. For all the cattle poo. So we're keeping all this together here. Hook this. Now uh, I'll probably start moving hay equipment over there. So man do we have a lot of trips back and forth can't believe all the equipment we have acquired so quickly on this farm. All the memories, all the good farming memories. This place will be missed. It's a beautiful countryside, but I think it's important to keep the farm in the family. So we're going to move. Hopefully the auction goes well and we do good off of it. And we're able to stock some money up to help save the farm. So I started moving a hay equipment over here. So I'm going to try to keep all like items. So we got some manure spreaders. And then we got a swather, a hay rake. So now we got to go find some balers or some our sickle bars and put them over here too. Found one of my small manure spreaders gonna move that over there by the other ones before I block that area sure glad I drove by this manure spreader because I almost forgot I had it and then I would have blocked this area and had to move equipment so untouch that it's gonna be a long day back and forth that's for sure Sure, I'm glad that I got this good old 4010, makes it nice and quick. Uh, open cab like this, it's easy when you're moving equipment. It's easy to get in and out of the cab because all you are is, otherwise, you're opening and closing the door constantly. It's, this is just easier, quicker, just a slight bit quicker, I think. So, I'll have to remember to leave a little spot in between because I have two wheel rakes like that I want to make sure I put them together so I'll try to leave a little area between them and that's this tinder here lower this down so then should be able to disconnect there we go back and forth we go again so I'm gonna go get that wheel brake right now before I forget fortunately we're almost selling everything on this farm uh, I know some of you may be upset that we're leaving this uh, area but a lot of good memories all good things come to an end sooner or later this was a great map uh, I had a lot of good memories. I think I made a lot of good videos. I hopefully anyways off of this map. But hope I'm excited about our next area we're moving to. So new challenges, new opportunities. I don't know why we can't go very fast right now. It's kind of odd. I don't know what's wrong with this 4010 but it's not letting me go faster than 11 mile an hour with this rake it's because my three point is to the ground now can't raise it I don't know why that's doing that so right now we have the gale grinder mixer on the back here uh, we're going but I want to before I uh, put this over there is to put our other sickle bar over so it's on this farm rail right here so we'll just 
no use unhooking it. Just take this farm all right over there. Good old tractor. I'm probably gonna miss this tractor. Okay. So now that that's unhooked, I think maybe I'll put the tractors on the outside here. So I'll just park this one right here. There we go. And we gotta walk back. Well, this is a pretty good old grinder mixer here. So we're just gonna go park this so it kind of fits right here, but it's close enough So people that are gonna want this rake are probably gonna want this grinder or a sickle bar might not want this grinder mixer, so Or at least be sticking around to see what price it went for And I don't even think we're hardly uh, close to what is it? We got about eight pieces of equipment. We still have a lot to go. I have no idea what's so heavy about this uh, old feed wagon here, but it is giving this 4010 everything it has. We're only going eight, and we're going downhill. Now that we're going downhill, we're gaining a little speed, but there for the longest, we're only going six mile an hour. So I think maybe it's getting a little hot uh, we've been pulling it back and forth so i might just sit and park this grab another tractor see when it's going uphill man i'm all the way down to four mile an hour i mean this will take me all day long if i have to go at this speed i don't know what's wrong i've got this all the gas it needs so maybe the fuel filter it's getting dirty i don't know but uh might have to take this into the shop really quick before the auction let's get this thing parked finally seems like it weighs a ton start this old international I think a lot of these tools will just start uh, pulling them over there and also start while we're doing that parking the tractors so 4166 international is pretty good really small cab not a lot of room in here so pretty loud in the cab if you can hear that you probably hardly hear me talk but uh, not great vision out out of this cab either so probably not gonna miss this tractor as much as the other ones that's for sure uh, let's see where do I want tillage to go probably just start tillage right over here somewhere Looks like a good spot as any. Actually, I want this one at an angle. Just to look enticing. The cleaner you look, your machinery looks, and everything is uh, tidy and everything, they know you took care of it. At least in my opinion, that is. Alright. Park this old loud beast. There's not going to be much rhyme or reason to uh, these tractors over here, so we'll just put them all where they they fit. So this is one tractor I'm going to miss, our 1066 John Deere. Not for sure why this thing is pulling so hard. It's almost like it's in the field or something. Should not be pulling this hard, but we'll get this parked over here. Don't know why a lot of these tractors are having such a hard time with this equipment. So you're probably thinking, what are we going to do with our land or our crops on our land? So basically, we're going to be selling the crop, the crops with the land, so the person that purchases the the land will be able to harvest the crops so it's kind of an odd way but we really don't have the time to harvest them so that's how we're going to do that this John Deere over here is going to get bullied by all these internationals oh well I think it can stick up for itself see here's another tractor so 
1586, there's no way this should be having this hard of time pulling it. Something's an uh, issue here. I think that may be uh, my manual connect mod. Now we're getting up to speed, but we're going downhill, so that really doesn't tell us much. I like this 1586 so much, I'm gonna go get another piece of equipment. Just gonna be running a lot of back and forths here. Gonna miss this old girl. I'll go get hook up to this disc right here. Oh, gotta lower this first. There we go, now we can release the disc. Yeah, I'm driving this 1586 back and forth just because it's one of my favorite tractors. It's so easy to drive, very convenient. Uh, it's one, it's, it's kind of a, a middle uh, model for my tractor, so what is these made in the 80s, so have a, a couple 90s tractors, but mostly 80s and under. I uh, think we'll hook up to the mower there. And this little rinky dink mower looks small on the back of this thing. I guess maybe I should have probably mowed that area prior to doing all this, but oh well. Now we're gonna go get our hay buster. Uh, I don't even, we haven't used that in a while, so we really didn't have an opportunity to use it. I think we'll park this international. I, I really didn't realize we had this many internationals on the farm, to be honest, so. I know a lot of people gave me a lot of smack because we they thought we didn't have enough red on the farm. Well, uh, I mean, we had international, which is the best, I think, or better than case. But, and we have a farm L. That's a lot of red, I think. I don't know what it is with this equipment, but man, this thing is heavy. Given this case everything it has. Glad that's done pulling. Race over here and park this. Look at this, another red tractor we had on the farm. Hmm. You say I don't like red. Hmm. Maybe I should park that, because people are gonna poke themselves. Yeah, I'll back that up a little bit. Lower that to the ground. There we go. Boy, people don't stab themselves. Don't want one of them. That'd be pretty nasty. So we've got the old Alice Chalmers here. Start it up. I'm probably just going to go park this. Not going to pull anything with this. The way everything's pulling heavy, I definitely don't want to take the time to pull it with this thing. It's odd how you sit to the side on this. Kind of good, I guess. You're seeing, looking down the row or going down a row, it's kind of easy sitting on the side like that. But I guess it's a little odd. Usually you don't sit like that. It's definitely... Uh, a small tractor compared to the other ones, but a purdy tractor. Not really too much use for this tractor. Can't really pull anything to its stanchel. Probably just park it right here. Oh, it started. There we go. Too bad we didn't have much use for this one. Would have been fun to drive around. Maybe we can take one of these old uh, silage wagons. Get this silage wagon over there. 
definitely still have a lot of pieces of equipment to move over. It's amazing what you collect. So we never brought these planters back from planting. So I'm going to go get these washed up and cleaned up prior to us uh, parking them for a lot. We still have boat planters in the field. Just been so busy and this is how much of a rush it is to get this auction set up. Alright, now we're driving the our uh, grain trucks over. So we're getting a little bit farther along. I think I'm going to park this one right in this corner. Right there looks good. We're pulling all of our uh, gravity wagons too over here. We'll have the grain haulers close together. Probably just leave them connected and then if they want to only buy one they can uh, disconnect these. I was trying to get this planter hooked up here. go at the planter raise it up now we can have all of our planters together over here on the auction there we go disconnected now I'm going to drive this uh, 4955 I kind of like this tractor so I have a lot of equipment uh, few bale wagons to get over here another silage wagon so this is the last of the three uh, bale trailers we have actually we still have one more I have to go get that it's a slightly different trailer but I have to go get that over it's on the other side of our cow barn cabin barn uh, I don't know why I had so many uh, bale trailers but I guess you need them when you have a lot of little squares so somebody will probably get a good deal on some bale trailers if they come to the auction or there will be a lot of want and need for them All right, so we'll park this unhook it quickly we'll get our last one and it seems we're moving and moving it's starting to fill up over here so this is our last bale trailer we never used it much it's just an old uh, boarded platform trailer you can always find a use for one of these type trailers uh, maybe uh, we probably if I had room on the truck that taking over I might even take this trailer but I don't know it's they're not worth enough money to really deal with pulling them across country all right now I think I'll go get our grain cart park that over here by the trucks grain handling area so we're driving our 5488 uh, a lot of you like this tractor it's a good old tractor can use a little work in the cab but drives good sounds good really good old tractor really didn't get to use this tractor much we are pulling our branded or branded auger here uh, put this over here by the grain handling area and we're gonna park this so I'm kind of keeping at least some of the tractors together it looks like we have mostly our international or case tractors together here for the most part park this right in between these now I'm going to line these up better picky like that this old farmo so we are moving our uh, Combine. We're selling our combine head on the auction and not our combine. I 
I'm gonna pay a trucker to haul it across country. I think it's a basically it's still a good combine. I don't really want to get rid of it and lose money on it. I have to purchase another one. So we're I don't want to move the head across country. I am going to move the draper head though. Let's go get our uh, dodge here. Take this trailer over. And the seed. Park that over there. In the Dodge. Good old Dodge, that's for sure. Gonna miss this old girl. So I'm gonna go grab this little trailer we have here. Basically, a little mower trailer. I think it's a little 10 foot. So now we're pulling our cattle trailer. Just have a few more items to pull over there. Not too many. Got a few trucks to get over there. This cattle trailer. Pretty nice. Almost done. You can see there is equipment all over the place over here. Planters. Trailers, tractors, I had no idea I had this much equipment. So we're taking our old workhorse over there. Old K30. Get that over there and then we have to take squad's truck in the trailer. That should be about it. There we go. So I think that's about it. We still have to bring the gator over here. Oh, there's a floating tree right there. That's odd. How does that happen? Weird. So we will take this around and make sure we didn't forget anything around our farm. So... Nothing parked out over there, so we're... We're gonna transport the combine. All of our uh, animals, our cattle and everything are gonna be sold at the livestock. Our horses are going to be sold at the livestock barn. Also our chickens. I'm sure we can get a neighbor to take the chickens. So all these buildings are empty. Uh, we sold all of our grain already. These buildings. Uh, don't think I'm going to worry about that snow plow in there. Just not too worried about it. This building looks empty. So that is... So we got everything over there. That's good. We didn't miss anything. So let's get this parked over there and let's take a walk around this area. And show you all the equipment. The memories. I'm sure you guys already know most of the equipment, but I'd just like to go over it. Uh, all the equipment quickly. I'll park this over here by Squad's truck. Yes, we are selling Squad's truck. So let's start with uh, this side here. We had the uh, McCormick Deering W9. So we didn't actually use that. I don't, yeah, we didn't actually use this, that tractor, but it was a good tractor. Started right up. Uh, 7810 was mostly our planting tractor, worked really good, uh, especially with the Dimco tanks on the side. Good tractor for us. We did use it for a little bit of tillage. The 4955 is one of my favorite tractors. We use that a lot. Tillage, planting, it's just a good all-around tractor. Anybody that has one of these knows that you just use it and use it and use it good old iron uh, John Deere tractor so this is our newly loader, loadered uh, 4010 good tractor worked good for us uh, no issues really with it uh, we got a 7030 diesel here didn't really use that too much used it on some of the smaller augers 
4020 is basically a uh, haying tractor mostly, uh, chore tractor. Uh, 4440 is uh, basically an everything tractor. Mostly we used it for a loader tractor. Uh, we'll go around here. We didn't really use this uh, Maskey Ferguson uh, 620 too much, but we did uh, get it running and it did do a little bit of bean harvest. That was nice of it. Uh, we had this old uh, Russian or German uh, swather. Somehow it got over here in the U.S. Used that a lot. Had this uh, Kuhn uh, little disc mower. Good. Mowed around the place. Probably should have mowed around this place before I placed everything. But oh well. Uh, this Oliver uh, manure spreader. I don't think we actually use that. Uh, it's not the biggest. So it's kind of... Uh, where you put manure maybe on your garden or little areas or if you just need to clean out the horse farm maybe just one of them good little manure spreaders when you don't want to get the bigger manure spreaders dirty so this is a heavy duty H&S good little manure spreaders so sister and brother right here a Hall 4000 slurry spreader we did use that Spread some slurry works great for us. Definitely huge. A New Holland uh, sickle bar, not sickle bar, but sickle reel. Uh, 116 mower. Used that a few times. Had a few Kuhn uh, wheel V rakes here. Both work great for us. Little tether here. Two uh, sickle bars here. Both work good. This JHL uh, little uh, grinder mixer. Didn't really use that, but uh, definitely always need this on the farm, especially when you have a feed lot or feeding the calves and everything. Works out great. A lot of uses to have on that. Uh, we use this uh, little feed wagon, Coon Knight. What is this, uh, 142? Hay Buster. Did we use that? Yeah, I think we did use that. Hay Buster. Busted up a few straw bales. Uh, this Kian. We obviously, that was a primarily feed wagon we used. Uh, we both, we did use these silage wagons. We didn't, I don't think we use these bale trailers. We have three of them. Or four of them, if you want to count this one on the end but they work great for us this old uh, Kenworth didn't really get a lot of use so basically just pulled around this uh, Wilson drop deck uh, fertilizer tender here but worked great for when we needed it this DMI uh, gravity wagons we did use that a few times dragged it out in the field so they both work great of course we used our GMC top kicks all the time so great trucks hopefully I can get a few GMC top kicks at my next location did use this uh, grain cart here not really that often but we didn't pay hardly anything for it of course we used our little auger you, like you always use a little auger on the farm when you have a bin set up Farm King worked great for us. It's a 13 inch, 95 foot, huge auger. Probably shouldn't have been using that 70 30 on it. At least uh, 100 or 100 plus horsepower that would take. Probably 150. Okay, we already briefed that. So we'll go down this line now. Alice Chalmers. WD-45, didn't really get too much use out of that, but great tractor there. 4166, we did use that as a tillage tractor, great tractor. Not too much of a fan of that cab and everything, but loud cab and not too much of a non-articulating uh, tractor like that, but pretty good tractor. 1206 Farmel, we use that a lot, primarily a haying tractor. 5488 unfortunately we didn't get to use that too often but a good tractor 
1066. I'm pretty sure we use this on everything. Hey, some tillage and planting. So, it's a good tractor. 1586 is red power here is one of my favorite tractors on this form of course the uh, 7210 uh, use that as a loader tractor I think we put it on a plant and tractor there uh, and also plant and tractor is uh, we do use it a lot of usage uh, oh it's a feeding tractor too 8830 power shift we didn't really have this too long but well, we use it as a tillage tractor yeah WD 10 was primarily a haying tractor and a fertilizer spreading tractor uh, this big text trailer so we did use that a few times but pretty good looking trailer wouldn't mind having another trailer that looks like that our next farm our Wilson uh, not for sure the footage of this trailer but that's a good little uh, horse trailer to have ranch hand this PJ uh, trailers is another great trailer to have on the farm use that often liquid fertilizer uh, tank here pretty sure we use that a few times we have the a few fertilizer and uh, lime spreaders here we definitely use them we used our coon or not our coon our Kinsey 12 volt planner uh, pretty good planner uh, it's a three-point planner a little bit different because of the back wheels help support a lot of the weight on there these 1590s we definitely use them a few times good plant and track drills we actually had to take them right out of the field to put them on this auction it's good little uh, John Deere's wouldn't mind having another one of them one day don't know if we use this uh, plow or not or not this disc actually I think we did so uh, we definitely use these uh, these uh, John Deere 1600 chisels and this uh, Alice Chalmers uh, cultivator that's another John Deere chisel uh, we I don't think we got to use this disc it's more of a odds and end disc not too much you're not gonna put this in a big field unless you have a lot of time on your hands we did use this uh, 612c John Deere header a little bit big for our combine that's why we're selling it like to get an eight row uh, of course you use these uh, 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 car trailers all the time so good trailer had no issues with it and a little uh, I guess this would be like a lawnmower I think this is a 10 foot maybe trailer good trailer to have really liked our Ram 2500 uh, SLT great truck to, on the farm had a no issues with it not even with the transmission <coughs> uh, we got our Silverado K30 here. It's beat up. It's a workhorse on the farm. Never had any issues with that, even though it definitely gained some rust on the farm. This our squad's truck took a beating and uh, still came out shining. So we'd probably get a pretty good penny for this thing. And then we have our Bobcat little uh, 3400. Uh, I guess this would be a UTV so that is basically it hopefully we get a pretty good price for all these uh, pieces of equipment but thank you for watching and I will see you later not on all the mokes I used to stay up all night trying to find my place chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness give me a little faith something to make me stronger someone You came to me and you gave me reason uh, mm, 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 mm. I almost can't believe it Every time we touch I feel at home There's no way I'd ever let you go When you put your hands in mine I know 
without you Not even if I tried Cause every day I'm with you I'm flying over the clouds Oh yeah Yeah, I'm flying over the clouds And I'm not coming down Every time we touch our feet Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.